Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name's May. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a reaction video on this young lady. Her name is Jenna Brown. And the video that she posted up not too long ago on why she stopped watching Kelly Stamps. But in this video, essentially, she expresses uh, some of the some of the most uh, normal human reactions and behaviors, especially in younger individuals, as far as like the feeling of jealousy and the feeling of maybe not living up to where she's supposed to be in comparison to others and things like that. And I just think that this is such an interesting video because it is basically where we are um, from a societal standard. So it just kind of goes to show um, the impact that everything, social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook can have uh, on us and on our mental health. I really wanted to talk about this. Most of you found my channel through Kelly Stamps. I know some of you don't. So the first thing that I think of when I see this young lady is holy schmucks. Like she looks just like Kelly Stamps. I mean, they look alike, period. Like they don't, they not only look alike, they talk uh, the same. They freaking, their personalities, their whole demeanor, it's like exactly the same. It's so weird to me. Like I watched her video after watching Kelly Stamps and I was like, does she have a sister we don't know about? that set it off for me. I was already feeling single and lonely because my cousins who are like the same age as me have partners and I don't have one. I am very single, but on Tuesday. So there's nothing wrong with being single. Um, I, I actually think being single is easier and a lot more peaceful than having a partner and being in a relationship. And I think that's another thing that people don't stop to think about. They have a very very, very high misconception of what it's like to be in a relationship and what it actually takes to be in a relationship. And I think that's because our society pushes individuals towards not being single. But they don't know that society pushes you towards not being single because it benefits society, not because it benefits you. <laughs> you know, so we procreate, we make sure that the human race keeps going, stays alive. But apart from that, there's a lot of benefits that the government gets from you not being single and you being in a relationship instead. And so this has been something that has been pushed as basically the wanted state of being for a long time within society. And a lot of individuals don't, just don't take the time to really understand that when you're with someone or when you're in a relationship, it's actually harder than being single. And they also don't take the time to really think about what type of relationship that they want. And a lot of times they'll get in a relationship and stay in that relationship because they're so scared of being single. It's just the, the irony of it all. And again, it goes, it all goes back to how strong your mental health is when it comes to this particular area. Being single, I mean, is awesome. There's really, it's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It is human nature to crave connection with other people every once in a while. And you can go out with friends or you can go out on dates in order to fulfill those cravings, or you can get a boyfriend and then like, just make sure that, um, you have the proper boundaries within that relationship. For me, it would be a matter of, I don't really want to spend every day with you. <laughs> uh, and much rather spend most of that time with myself. And then every now and then we can spend time together, maybe once a week or something. <laughs> so people need to do the homework as far as like what that actually means and understand that if someone is in a relationship, you don't want to judge them based off of that, because most relationships are not happy relationships. 50% of Americans end up in divorce. The other 30 to 35% are completely miserable within the relationships that they're in. And the rest of us are just trying to figure it out as we go and never really truly understanding that we'll never figure it out. So <laughs> maybe about 1% of the population is truly happy within their relationship. It literally, that is the number I'm not exaggerating. So 
we really definitely need to just um, calm down and be realistic in our thinking. I found me through other videos I've made, but a lot of you found me through her. You've all seen my Walmart brand Kelly Stamps video, which I kind of hate now. I refuse to watch that video again. And then I made a video. Man, I can't believe she made a video. I got to go back and see if I can find that video. But I can't believe that she made a video called Walmart brand Kelly Stamps. <sighs> That's, that's tough. Like, what, what could that video possibly be about? So, so what is, like, so you're the Walmart, Walmart brand of Kelly Stamps. I just, I could never do such a thing and betray myself like that. Like, I don't care if you're Bill Gates. I'm not going to call myself the Walmart brand of Bill Gates. That just... No, I just couldn't. It just tells me that, you know, there's a good chance that this young lady has very low self-esteem and she definitely suffers from um, the, a lot of self-esteem issues. Um, to see what it was about, because I really hope that she wasn't saying that she's the Walmart brand of somebody else. Like, no, you're you, she's her, you guys are you're your own person. You're not the Walmart brain of anybody. <laughs> like, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but I love her personality. I think she had like 65,000 subscribers when I found her from one of her YouTube advice videos. And I was really happy for her success over the summer of last year. Like when she hit 100K, it was a fun time. It seemed very new and refreshing and I loved it. But now that it's been over a year since I've been watching her, and it just doesn't feel like how it used to. Sometimes I feel like her content is a little bit monotonous, kind of samey. I mean, I'm guilty of that too. I agree with her. I, to be honest with you, I've watched a few videos of Kelly Stamps and I think she's super duper boring. I mean, super boring. <laughs> and honestly, I don't really understand her her the the fact that she was able to blow up so rapidly but what from what i've observed and from what i've been researching just about youtube in general i think a lot of her her uh following are young kids very young kids so um either teenagers or even younger and i think the appeal for them is that she has such a dry personality and maybe they see themselves in her. Maybe they feel like, oh, I'm an introvert too. I, you know, I can relate to this person because of that. And I'm thinking that a large percentage, if not all of her following is based off of that. And she's one of those people that, to be honest, got lucky because, and, and to be honest, I'm an introvert as well. I'm not an extrovert. I'm one of those introverts that when I get around people, like I'm, the people that I'm comfortable with, I'm energized. You can't get me to stop talking for anything, right? But the, the problem is my energy level depletes fairly quickly. And then in order to um, basically recharge, I have to go back to solitude. And that's how I recharge. And really, that's the true definition of an introvert. An introvert does not mean that you like to be by yourself all the time or that you lack skills social skills, right? It, it doesn't, that's not what the real definition of an introvert is. And I think these two young ladies might be confused as to what it truly means to be an introvert. Maybe they need to do a little bit more research on that. Because I, I know that they define it as not liking people, which she stated, um, Jenna Brown stated in her last video that they're both people that don't like people. And I don't know if they're defining introvert, being an introvert or equating being an introvert with that, but that's not really what being an introvert means if they are. Um, so just kind of keeping that in mind. I mean, that's what I think about Kelly Stamps from a general perspective is that she, she really just lucked out because there's just not a lot of people with that personality type on YouTube. Um, but I think because her audience likes her already, they not even necessarily likes her, but they feel they see themselves in her and they're so young, you know, and when you like someone that causes the ripple effect of, you know, laughing at jokes that aren't funny and really believing that they're funny, things like that, you know, because 
you already have such a positive connotation, you know, attached to that person. And not only that, if you're viewing that person as being a representative of the way that you are, then even more so. So I think a lot of her success is due to that. But I don't know that Jenna Brown really understands that. I mean, it's just the luck of the draw thing. It's not that she's particularly, I've watched the videos. I don't, I mean, there's not really any, there's other videos like that on YouTube. So then you have to think outside the box, like, okay, what, what could be the reason why this one, you know, blew up and this one didn't, you know? There's only so much you can do when a global Panda Express is going on. But I mean, she's traveling, so I guess that's not stopping her. But to me, her content wasn't entertaining. The shade. She's traveling, so I guess that's not stopping her. Girl. Girl. <laughs> days ago, I stopped watching her. I unsubscribed. I unfollowed her on Instagram. And the reason is because I was jealous of her. I understand, you know, unsubscribing from someone's channel because you feel like you can no longer relate to them. And I do understand feeling like, okay, this person that I used to be able to um, basically watch and feel like we're closer than maybe what you guys actually were because you weren't so off as far as like economic status goes is and that feeling now is is kind of non-existent right because her platform has really grown she's making a significant significant she's making significantly more money than you and so you chose to unsubscribe in my opinion that is understandable actually from a therapist and a counselor's perspective, which is my perspective, um, it is not something that you don't see. Actually, this is something that's prevalent with, especially within our younger generation is when they go through social media, unfortunately, they compare themselves to almost everyone that they see on social media. And that lands them in a situation where they're having challenges dealing with, dealing with mental health issues, mainly depression and anxiety. That's what I see the most because they have such access to social media. And so it's so easy for them to sit there and be like, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. What's happening? Right. And so uh, you actually see that a lot. So what she's talking about isn't something that is unheard of. It's just that she's one of the few that's honest enough to admit it. I will also say that before she turned off her comment section, yes, you, yes, y'all, she turned off her comment section and I actually got to see her comments before she turned it off. Doop, doop, comments turned off. And usually YouTubers will offer an explanation to their following right here if they turn off the comments, but she has not done so. My advice to her is that she do that um, because I think you know, her following deserve, deserve that. Um, they deserve to know what's going on if you just turned off your comments. And also she's limiting herself, you know. I think that for her personality type, it seems like she's incredibly sensitive and she's not at a place where if she were to blow up on YouTube, I, you know, I think mentally she wouldn't be able to take it because what comes with YouTube and blowing up in YouTube or, on, or any social media is a lot of negatives. Like people will talk crap about you day in and day out. And you as the consumer might not be seeing that because a lot of the posts might be positive, but psychologically speaking, people tend to focus more on negatives than positives, right? So that's why you see in the news and things like that, but the things that make the news typically aren't happy things. They're usually controversy or drama or just things that are more on the negative side. And so just because you as a subscriber of Kelly Stamps or a consumer or whatever you want to call yourself, 
don't aren't seeing the negatives because a lot of the comments are positive. You as the creator are are seeing and honing in on the negatives more than you are the positives, most likely. And that's just because it's human nature. And so I understand that she feels like, well, I can't relate to her now. So I'm just going to unsubscribe. And I actually think it's good that she acknowledges that it is a little bit of jealousy, but I don't think it's, it's just all jealousy. I think it's because she needs to work on her mental health, of course, um, and her self-confidence. That's really all it comes down to. She's pretty young, so I'm not surprised that this is the stage that she's in. But, you know, that is definitely something that we need to work on. In her last video, she did say that she was in counseling. I, hopefully she's still in counseling. Um, because I would definitely recommend that. Now, I did leave a comment on this video, but the extent of what I said was maybe try working with Kelly Stamps since it sounds like you've had some interaction with her before and get her to post your stuff again. Because I mean, that girl has 600,000 <laughs> 600, views. So, you know, even if you're jealous, it's like, let's get her to post your stuff on her Instagram again. So that, I mean, you could get some some more exposure in that way. That was really the extent of my comment. And also I just put that I understand her feeling that way. And I actually agree. If that's the way that she's feeling, it is healthier for her to unsubscribe to that channel until she can kind of get to a place where she's more secure and more self-confident. It makes sense. There's no, there's no reason to force yourself through the content, right? Um, as long as she's working on herself uh, behind the scenes, nothing wrong with that. So everything together has all of their ducks in a row, you know, they're stacking paper. I can't relate to that. That's not entertaining to me. So stacking paper isn't all there is to it. It is a big part of it, like being able to make an income uh, on your own terms is a big part of it. But I just, from a therapeutic standpoint, I, because of their personality types, I think these personality types definitely are some of the personality types that have the hardest time with fame. And you really have to tread lightly when it comes to blowing up on platforms like that, just because anything, any little thing that happens, your, your world comes crashing down because people are very fickle in the way that they feel. And so any little thing and you might not realize that, you know, they'll all turn against you. So I think that having a full perspective is necessary because I think she doesn't have a full perspective. She's just kind of like, well, you have your life together and it's not making me feel good because I keep comparing myself to you. Um, but I don't know that she's like, who's to say, I don't really even think that she's at the level of just being being truly happy. I do think she's at the level of being comfortable financially, uh, but truly, truly being happy. That's that's another that's another story, and it's hard to make that assumption just based on her videos because, like she mentioned earlier, she would see, she'll see a title of a video and then be like, oh, I don't want to like watch that because I, you know that's already making me jealous, but. When it comes to YouTube, as she should know, you know, you use these titles to attract your viewer to click on the video. It's not really the reality of what the entirety of the video is even about. So you have to like click on the content to know what she's actually talking about. And so if you're getting jealous before even getting to the video just by reading titles, then that's a problem. You know, we need to work on that. Uh, because you're a YouTuber yourself, you know how it goes, you know, you know, you know and, and Kelly Stamps is avid for doing that, like, she'll put a title on there that really is two seconds, as far as, like, what her video is about, it's, like, two seconds, the rest of the video is, is, is about nothing and, and blogging, right, so she's, she's avid for doing that, her along with other YouTubers, and that's just because that's what you do. You have to try to make your video interesting so the consumer will click on it. So for her to not have that perspective is definitely concerning, but it's something to keep in mind. You know, on Tuesday or whenever, I would find myself hate watching them or watching them with the jealousy mindset instead of genuinely enjoying it. I kept thinking things like, oh, I don't make 
$40,000 a month. I don't have like designer clothes. I mean, do I want designer clothes? No, I don't care. A lot of like those big fashion brands like Gucci or whatever, a lot of those clothes are really ugly. I don't know why people wear them. Is it just because it's Gucci? But like still, I don't like wear like heels and dresses everywhere. I don't even I get it. You know, if I had the funds to wear Gucci, I probably would. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I feel like you know, the jealousy is real with her. Uh, that that much is obvious. I don't see why envy. I don't I don't really see that there's a reason to envy the people on YouTube. I for the most part I just use them to study to see what I can apply to my YouTube channel. Uh, but obviously, as we've determined earlier in this video, she has some mental health challenges that need to be dealt with. I wouldn't um diagnose her with anything at this point because I just don't have enough information for that. But one thing that I will say is that definitely a severe lack of self-confidence going on there. There's most likely depression that she's going through and she probably has anxiety combined with that. And the reason why I'm saying that there's a high probability of that is because those symptoms tend to appear all together. And so I think it definitely goes deeper than just, oh, I don't like Kelly stamps. Uh, this is this is an issue that she's probably having to fight and deal with on a daily basis in regards to a lot of things, a lot of areas, not just Kelly stamps. And that's what I'm getting from this this video. Right. The occasion calls for it, but I don't know how to put together an outfit like that. That's another thing. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. I don't okay, wait. I've seen Kelly Stamps in her outfits and there's nothing to them. That That's why I'm just like so confused. Like, you know, the younger generation, it, you know, it just is what it is as far as what they find entertaining. So I don't know. I've, I've never watched her video and felt like, oh, that's a, that's a cute outfit. You know, um, I haven't. I think another reason why she's likely feeling this way is when Kelly Stamps started to grow she started to post more videos like what i do with my forty thousand dollar a month income what i do with my subscribe how i built my subscriber base from zero to six hundred thousand you know she started posting more of those videos and i think from her perspective from jenna brown's perspective she's looking at it like oh my god this person has all of these things and i don't but if you look at, if you study the channel for pretty much every successful YouTuber, once they once they start building uh, their channel, once they start getting a substantial amount of subscribers, they all start posting about how to build my channel, what I spend money on, how I spend my forty like fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar income, you know, millionaire reacts. And what do you think the reason for that is? The reason for that is that is content that people click on. Psychologically speaking, people are drawn to want to know how people that are making more money than them are living, how, how they're spending. It's just people are entertained by that. That's the reason. It's not because of anything else. Girl, calm down, you know? So it is just human behavior. And it is also a way to grow your channel even more <laughs> because so many people click on that content. And so now that you have that platform, you it's essentially now you have another product that you can sell. And so you sell it. So I am in support with Kelly Sam's making those videos because those are the videos that are probably getting the most views for her on her channel. Because people are just curious about things like that, and it's human nature. They just they click on it, and they want to they want to see. You know, people are curious about things that they don't have. That's what it comes down to. And so, for her to be comparing herself based on something that's basically a marketing ploy, it, you know, it's just she's just basically making herself suffer for no reason. So let's keep going here. wearing nice clothes she went on like a 
and they're comfortable and I like them. But like after I had watched like her most recent like New York vlog where she was, you know, wearing nice clothes, she went on like a fancy dinner date with some finance guy in New York. He brought her flowers. I've never been brought flowers. I haven't been kissed in three years. I've never been on a super fancy dinner date. I don't That's hilarious. I haven't been kissed in three years. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. I actually, I think I, I um, scanned through that video that she's talking about of, of Kelly Stamps because of course YouTube uh, recommended it to me. I didn't watch it though because it was so boring because there was like several other things that she put in that video and I just don't find those type of videos entertaining. But I'm pretty sure I, I scanned, I schemed through it. Um, and I don't think that I, I don't think that was her I don't think that was Kelly Stamp's boyfriend I think she was meeting up with someone and maybe got some flowers I don't know like I don't think that I think this was a misunderstanding on Jenna Brown's part uh because I don't think that individual was her boyfriend I think they were friends actually and that was it and a lot of the comments were saying like oh he's cute and she was like yeah he's just a friend or something. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know. But I don't think. I think that there's some type of misunderstanding here, and that's what tends to happen when you are so focused on, <laughs> you know, not really getting a realistic perspective of what's real and what's not. I think she is struggling with concepts that she's made up in her own head and the truth and reality of what life is really like you know even as a successful youtuber and um you know that's a struggle because then you have blurred lines and you don't know what's what and who cares i mean if she has a boyfriend who cares you know i don't know but and flowers i don't even like so here's the thing i don't even like flowers like i prefer fake flowers because flowers die really easily then they leave a mess and then you have to clean it up so that's not even anything to really envy and really if a guy gets you flowers they're basically doing the bare of the bare minimum I mean someone that's not your boyfriend gets you flowers so there's I mean I don't she's jealous about really really silly things but again that's where she's at from a mental health perspective even though there really isn't a right way to be in your 20s. I mean, I'm barely into my 20s. I'm only 21, but like, that's how I felt. I felt like I was behind. Sometimes I still feel like that. And watching Kelly Stamps, to me... So, you know, a lot of people feel like that. A lot of people feel like they're behind. And those are the main people that will sit here and comment on your on your video. Girl, you should... <laughs> and you turned off... She turned off her comments. I'm like, oh, you turned off, like I'm talking to her. You t she turned off her comments on this video as well as the last video that she made talking about Kelly Stamps. But the thing is, in the last video that she made talking about Kelly Stamps, it seemed like she was jealous in that video too. Guessing that those feelings just got amplified, but the feelings were already there. Maybe she didn't realize that they were there, but they were. Um, and they just got amplified when uh, Kelly Stamps started posting more and more about what she has and how much she makes and blah 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 but people post that stuff because that's what people want to watch you know that's what people people want to see that that's why they post it and if no one gave a crap then they probably wouldn't post it because no one gives a crap you know but um so that's another thing it's like comparing ourselves to others we're always feeling like we're behind and so i always try to caution myself and others as far as like who you're comparing yourself to like if I were to compare myself to someone it wouldn't be to Kelly Stamps I'm sorry but I would pick someone that like like um Bill Gates for example like I mean he created the whole freaking like <laughs> micro like something he created something that the whole world is literally like changed the whole world right like I would be like that's someone that that I can really like look look at and feel inspired by basically or um the creator of facebook although he had that scandal as far as like 
he took all the credit, even though he had helped to create Facebook. Anyways, um, still, that's someone that I would look at and be like, that's someone that I can feel inspired by because they're actually changing the world. And not only just change, they, they, they've actually changed the world in such a huge way. But not only did they do that, they're also fairly wealthy, of course, that, that came with that. And so really, those are the type of people that I choose as inspirational people, not Kelly Sands. Like, yeah, she's, she makes a lot of money and she's going to make even more money, but it's like, that's it. You know, I don't really, her, you know, and another thing is I don't really feel like there's anything wrong with Kelly Stance because she tries to be helpful in her videos, you know, and so some people find that helpful and that's a good thing, but in some of her videos, she tries to be helpful. Um, but I wouldn't like, it's not like a, a world changing, you know, like I just, it's a level that you can reach to, you know, with the right amount of work and dedication, unless you're not willing to put in the work and dedication and that's on you, but she's at a level that you can reach to and doing it in your own way, how you want to do it with content that you want to post and things like that. It's possible. You can do it too. So I, I don't know. I just feel like she could have picked better people to be jealous of, but you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, like the, the Kelly Stance is successful, but there's nothing to be jealous about. I mean, it's just like, you know, her, to me, I prefer, I prefer successful people that aren't in the public eye like that, They're, that aren't successful because essentially they're in the public eye. That's really the best kind of success because you don't really have to deal a lot with people talking crap about you. And at the same time, you're changing the world. And at the same time, you're making um, good money doing it. And so you can live your life the way that you want. You don't have to worry about like you're at the airport and someone recognizes your face, right? So, but you know, not everyone has the option of doing that. Not everyone woke up during their, their years at college and, and thought about this idea this revolutionary idea where everyone could get on um, an, an internet platform and get information instantly. Not everyone can do that. And so it is what it is. We use the resources that are at our uh, disposal. Get angry. And that's how I was feeling watching Kelly Stamps videos. So I will say that, I mean, I agree. I think that if it's something that you notice, because because what I will tell you, what I will tell you all from this video is I can tell that this is a young lady that suffers from se probably severe depression, um, in my opinion. She probably suffers from severe depression. There was a point in the video where she talked about crying just off of watching that video. And that's not a regular response, right? Most of us just watch the video and we're like, oh, okay, that's interesting, we move on. And so what comes with that also is anxiety. As long as she's working on that on the back end, and going to therapy and going to counseling, I think it is healthier for her that she unsubscribes. It, it would make no sense to keep watching that content when you're not in the mental space to be able or capable of sustaining such content, right? Processing through such content. So as you work on these things in the back end, what you'll find is more and more you're able to watch content. If you're if you're if you're in tune with yourself anyway, you'll find that more and more you're able to start watching content without having those thoughts. But in the meantime, you need to um, reduce the amount of triggers that might be triggering triggering any anxiety or any depression within you. So I agree with her when she says she unsubscribed it is the best thing to do i wish i could get my clients to do that because i have so many clients that will come and say like it's instagram and facebook facebook my gosh the amount of people that that compare themselves based on what they see on facebook is astronomical and that's one of my most popular pl platforms that that kind of brings people into my office and now they're like oh like i'm not feeling too good about this right so so I think that that's a good move on her part, and I think it makes sense, actually. Like, I don't like couple channels. I don't think it
What do you guys think about couple channels? I don't really watch them that much. I mean, I just feel like, I don't know. I just don't really watch them that, like uh, that much, if ever. Um, I, I'm indifferent to them, I guess. I just kind of don't, <laughs> you know, because I just, I have a, such a realistic preview of what it takes to be in a relationship. So I just feel like there's really nothing to envy on that end. Um, and they're not that entertaining to me, to be honest with you. Like every now and then, like one will slide in my, in, into my recommendation, um, recommendation box and stuff, which is cool, but hmm, I'm just kind of in indifferent to that. What do you guys think? Anyone does, honestly, except like eight-year-olds, but there are a few YouTubers who I watch, who I'm subscribed to, who are in relationships, but it's not the main focus. No, they just happen to be in relationships. Another example is Alia Zaita. She's a lifestyle YouTuber. She does lots of vlogs and stuff. She's my age. She just turned 22. She lives in Seattle. She just moved to a bigger apartment and she lives with her boyfriend, Yoni. And I think they're really cute together. That was interesting for her to like go on a rant about that because to the best of my knowledge, I haven't seen that Kelly Sam's post anything about being in a relationship on a regular basis or post with anything as far as like having a boyfriend on a regular basis. So I think that's like a baseless claim on her part as far as saying, oh, it's because I like, I, I, I honestly, I, I have a feeling she didn't really watch that video that she keeps referring to as far as like she got flowers. Like who gets jealous because someone got flowers? Who gives who gives a crap about that? Like, I like flowers aren't even flowers just end up making a mess you know the most the most you can say if you get flowers from someone is thanks but i have a feeling she didn't really watch that video in its entirety and it might have been because she was already in this mind space of not wanting to or just not liking how she feels when she watches the kelly stamps videos now i will say that it's not entirely her fault because kelly stamps has really like we mentioned earlier, started to post a lot about how much she makes on YouTube every month. Like, so her content has really changed from what it was when she first started. So it's probably very different from the people that she uh, still follows and that the people that she still follows probably haven't done that. They haven't changed their content to include, this is how much I make every month, or this is that, da, da, da. they probably haven't fed into that. They probably haven't fed into like, oh, now I'm married. Like, let me post more with my partner. Because the reason why people do those things is because they want to get more clicks. They want to get more views. They want people to subscribe more. That's why they post those type of things. And so the people that, you, that she's still watching have probably chosen to not go that route. And so they keep it at a minimum. They keep it a, at a very bare minimum. And so it sounds like she's more comfortable with that, which is fair. So it's not all her fault. I mean, Kelly Stamps has gone in that route and it's not necessarily like there's something wrong with that, but that is a different type of content. And she, from what I've seen, does post a lot of content about how much she makes, her growth, her success, blah, blah, blah. And so if you are someone like this young lady right here uh, who sees that and feels put off by that, then it's better, it's better to unsubscribe so you don't have to necessarily deal with um, that content. Now, I do know that just because you unsubscribe does not mean YouTube will stop suggesting those things to you. So, you know, you still, again, have to work on those things in the back end. So that way, whenever you see it come up, you know, you know, mentally, you don't, you're not feeling stressed out about it. You're not feeling any type of way about that. Well, you guys, I think that's about it for this video. She just goes on to say, well, that she unsubscribed from Kelly Kelly Stamps uh, following or page, whatever you want to call it. She unsubscribed because she felt jealous of Kelly Stamps. Although that's accurate, like she felt jealous. I think there's definitely more to it than that. Um, it sounds to me like she's in a space where she needs to really just focus on herself and the reasons why she's responding in this way to these things. Because from what it sounds like to me, 
one of the main reasons why she's responding in this way is she's living her life based on the expectations that she feels like others have for her versus living her life based on her own rules and expectations. And when you do that, that puts you in a very difficult situation. And usually that leaves you with, you know, feeling a lot of anxiety, potentially feeling a lot of depression, things like that. So she's going to have to work on that. Uh, but I think that overall, this video was so informative. It was so interesting. It was really nice that she made it because it shines light on how most people feel in America, but just don't admit it. <laughs> so, so that's, those are my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.